many, many different varieties of plants with flowers on, and they're not all equally good to bees and other insects that visit flowers for pollen and nectar. So by counting the insects, we can determine which flowers are better or worse. And in that way, we know which plants to recommend as being good to put in your garden or wherever to help bees and other insects by providing pollen and nectar. In our research, we count the number of insects on patches of flowers, and we do this repeatedly because if we do it many times, we actually get a good estimate of how many insects there are per square metre on one particular type of flower versus on another type. So this gives us reliable data on which we can now recommend certain varieties of plants as being good or indeed not good for insects. And also, which type of insects are they good for? Because when we count the insects, we also identify them at the same time into categories like honeybee, bumblebee, butterfly, etc. To make a snapshot, we go to a patch of flowers and we make an instantaneous count of the number of insects on it. And we also identify the insects at that moment. Typically, there's anything from zero to 10 insects on the patch at that time. So it's not a vast number of insects and the patches that we count are quite small. To count the insects, you literally see them we're talking about bees, butterflies, hoverflies, insects, which are reasonably large. We're counting them in patches which are reasonably small. So it's simply a matter of looking at the patch and just noticing all the insects. We only gather our data under conditions which are appropriate for foraging insects. So we wouldn't count in rain, for example. Generally speaking, we have to be counting the insects in warm weather ideally with some sun and in the middle of the day in you know, approximately from 10 10 30 in the morning to 3 4 in the afternoon these snapshots are very easy to do and anybody can do it you don't need a huge amount of scientific training if you can count to 10 you can basically do a snapshot and the reason other people would want to do it is that in their own garden or in their own park or wherever they are they can actually gather information on which insects and how many are on different species of plants and therefore determine the best plants in their own garden. <laughs>